Hi my friends, in this video we are going to publish our project on the internet for free using render.com website. Follow this lesson if you like to do that. We need to prepare the scripts that should be run on the server for building and starting the project. In fact, our front-end project that is the React project should be built and it should be moved to the back-end project so we can start the back-end project on the server and serve it. For doing that, first of all, we need to create a package JSON here on the root of the project. So go to the terminal menu and create a new terminal. Here write npm init dash y and press enter. You should be on the root of the project. Remember, you shouldn't be inside the front end or back end. Okay, our package JSON is created. Let's open it. First of all, remove this test script. We don't need it. The first script that I want to add here is the build script. We're going to use it for building the front end project. So first of all, we need to go to the front end project, cd front end. And after going inside it, put double and here it should be done synchronously if you put a single and it will be done asynchronously so remember you should put double and here and write npm run build or building the front end project obviously it goes to the front end project and runs the build script here inside the front end that calls react scripts build command that will give us a build folder here that contains everything ready for the production we can test it right now open the terminal and write npm run build and as you can see we are on the root of the project press enter now we have the build folder but this is not enough we need to move this build folder to the backend src folder here i want to put it inside the folder with the name of public so the whole front end will be the public for the backend close the package json for the front end and go to the root package json here i want to add another script with the name of post build don't forget to put a comma at the end of the first one this post build will be called automatically after calling the build and inside it we want to move this build folder to the src folder with the name of public for doing this we need to use the mv command or move command with the dash f argument that force and overwrite the moving from front end slash build that is the build folder inside the front end folder to back end slash src slash public this is the name of the new folder remember this mv file will be used for renaming a folder too so you can move and rename a folder at the same time so we rename the build folder into public folder now save it and run npm run build you don't need to run post build it will be called automatically after build so run it as you can see the build folder is moved from here into the backend folder with the name of public so now that we have everything on the back end we can run our server.js right let's do it the last command that we need to add here is the start command for running the project and inside it we just need to write cd backend for going to the backend folder and npm start and this command is like going to the backend folder and running the start command from the package json of the backend but as you can see there is no start command all we need to do is copying the dev script paste it at the top change its name to start and instead of nodemon we just need to use node because we use the nodemon for the development and we should not use it on the production now that we have the start command on the backend we can run the start command of the package json on the root of our project but what will happen if we do this npm start as you can see it's working just like before but the difference is we don't have our front end on the port 3000 we have both front end and back end at the port 5000 now if we go to the browser we'll see that we have this cannot get slash it means it cannot serve the static public file that we built and put inside the public folder of the back end for serving the public we need some modification on the server.js so let's go to the code open the server.js on the back end close the terminal for serving the public folder we need to do two things the first thing is using the public folder as a static or server as a static so it could be accessible from the back end as a static data as you know these urls are dynamic data and our html stuff should be served as static the second thing is delegating or passing all the urls other than these urls that are responsible for serving our apis to the public folder to the react project and the react project is on the same folder 
as the server.js. So by having access to the directory of the server.js, you can have access to the public folder too. As you remember in the Node.js style of importing modules, I mean the way that we use require instead of import, where the type of our package JSON wasn't module. We could use underscore underscore dir name for having access to the directory of the current file we are in. But things are a little bit different in AS6. Here we cannot have access directly to the directory of the file, but we can have access to the URL of the file and we can convert it into directory of this file. The URL of the file is inside the import.meta.url. Now let's convert this URL into the path of this file. For doing this, we need to write const underscore underscore file name. It's not necessary to use underscore underscore file name, but you know, in the require style, this constant automatically has the file name of the current file. So I like to give it the underscore underscore file name as the constant name. And there's a function for converting URL into the path. We need to import it first, import file URL to path from URL. Did I do it right? Hold the control down, click on it. As you can see, it's a valid function. Let's use it here. File URL to path. We want to convert import at meta that URL that has the URL of the current file into the file path. So we are going to have the file name. It means the full address of the current file. But this is not what we want. We want a directory. We don't want the file name because we want to go to the public folder, not inside the server.js. So we write const underscore underscore dir name we set it equal to dir name function it's a function inside path package that is part of node.js we call it and we pass the file name and now we have the current directory of this file i don't know why they make it so much harder but this is how you can have access to the directory of the current file now let's just scroll down here after the apis press enter first of all i want to create a constant for the public folder it's a string i want to use path from the path package dot join for the first parameter i pass the dir name and for the second parameter i pass public you can write it like this like uh, dir name plus slash plus public you can write it like this it's exactly like this but in some operating system like windows for navigating a folder you need to use backslash instead of slash so if you use path.join it will take care of that anyway it will return a string on the next line we want to use this public folder as a static so we need to write app.use express.static and we pass this public folder Folder. Okay, this was the first step using the public folder as a static. The second step is defining a get API. So write app.get. Its first parameter should be star. It means everything. In fact, since we used it after these APIs, it is everything other than these APIs. So here, let's give it request response and make the body of the API. Here, I want to create a constant for the file path or index file path. And I'm going to make it equal to path.join this public folder with index.html. So this index file path will be the index.html file inside the public folder because by running this, we are going to have our front end project. So we need to serve it from the backend. And on the next line, we just need to write response.send file with capital F. And we just need to write index file path. So this HTML file will be served on the response of this API. So all the routes will be passed to this index html that goes into the react routing system so the routing will be managed inside our react project now there's only one problem but as you can see everything inside the public folder has been tracked by the source control we need to ignore them so on the back end go to the git ignore press enter and write public so the public folder will be ignored now just open the terminal press ctrl c for stopping the back end and run npm start again and press enter now if you go to the browser and refresh the page we are going to see the data at the localhost 5000 instead of localhost 3000 that we used to develop our project now we can say that this project is ready to be deployed so we can go to the render.com here click on get started for free if you don't have an account here i want to sign up with my google account and complete the sign up at this point the verification email will be sent to your email address after clicking on the link you will be redirected to this page here you just 
need to click on starting a new project and continue to render.com here from these thumbnails select web service click on new web service select build and deploy from a git repository click on next here we can click on the connect github and select our repository but before that i want to publish my code to the github so i don't need to wait to have a failing build without these modifications that we did i set my commit message to 20 publish on render.com commit and sync changes okay it is pushed to the github here after clicking on the connect github you will be redirected to the github page with the title of install render here you can whether choose to give access to all of your repositories to render.com or you can select a specific repository that's what i want to do search your project name find it and select it then scroll down and click on install for installing the render application on your github now as you can see we came back to the render.com and we are seeing the repository that we are working on click on connect give it a name i want to give it the name of foodmine dash react dash js remember this name will be used as the url of your project so be careful if it's important for you the branch is master okay scroll down the important part here is the build command for the build command you just need to write npm run build and for the start command we need to write npm start that's it scroll down select the free plan and click on create web service oh we have a build fail i forgot to put two things inside my package json the first thing is that i didn't define the specific version that i want to use for my project i don't want to use version 14.17 that is the default version of the render.com i want to use version 18 that is at the time the latest stable version of node.js the next thing that i forgot is as you can see we have an error that says react script not found it means the node modules are not installed both in front end and the back end so we need to add a command for installing the node modules in both folders so let's come back to the project and do it for installing the npm packages in both front end and back end i want to add a pre-build command here remember it should be exactly pre-built just like the post build if you have typo it's not going to work i want to set its value equal to cd backend and and npm install so this is for installing the backend npm packages at the single end here and write cd front end and end npm install as i told you when you use double end or double ampersand these two commands will be run synchronously so first it will run this one and after it's finished it will run this one but i put an end here because the front end and back end are not related to each other so both of them could be run at the same time and install the npm packages in both folders for testing it, we can go to the backend and frontend and remove the node modules folder. Okay, backend removed it front end we removed it open the terminal run npm run build when you run npm run build it will automatically calls pre-build and post build so we expect it to run the pre-build as you can see it's showing us this command that we wrote here it means first of all it will run the pre-build command and that's exactly what we want it's installed the node modules on the back end and the node modules on the front end let's remove the build folder on the front end and public folder on the back end and try to run npm run build again the build folder should be created and it should be moved here okay as you can see it works too so everything about it is ready the only thing that we need to do in this package json we need to set the node version so at the end of it put a comma write engines inside it write node and set its version bigger than or equal to 18 and smaller than 19 so it could be 18.18 .18, that is the current version of node at the moment that is bigger than 18 but the major version couldn't be higher than 19 and that's exactly what we want now i just want to append or amend this change to the previous comment message for doing this we can open the terminal and write git commit dash dash amend dash dash no dash edit no edit means we don't want to change the commit message and amend means we want Want to append or amend this commit to the previous commit so there will be no other commits it will be added to the previous commit press enter and for pushing it right git push origin master dash dash force and press enter normally you will get an error if you do it by pressing the sync button so we can run this command for doing the force push now if we go to the render.com 
on the events new commit is building but even if the build will be successful we still are going to have error because if you get back to the project go to the backend folder and open the .env file we are using a local mongodb as our mongo uri but for our website that is accessible from the internet we need to have a mongo uri that is available through internet for having that we need to go to the mongodb atlas website that is mongodb.com slash atlas here if you don't have an account click on try free you can sign up with your information or you can sign up with the Google. I want to do it with Google. Here, if you see this accept privacy policy and terms of service, you need to accept it and click on submit. It asks you what is your primary goal. Select one of them based on your primary goal and select how long you are using the MongoDB. For the programming language, select JavaScript and select the others based on your preference and click on finish here select the free tier and you can keep the provider on aws and click on create enter the captcha if there is any and you will be redirected here here scroll down and create a database user i want to set its username to nasir click here to make it invisible click on auto generate secure password or generating a new password then click on copy for copying the newly generated password and create the user this was for the database access for the network access you can go to the network access tab on the left side delete everything from here click on add an ip address and select allow access from anywhere that will enter 0000 slash 0 will make your database accessible from everywhere so it will be less secure but if you are doing only the development and you are not making a website for a serious business that's fine click on confirm okay now on the left side go to the database and click on connect here on the connect to your application select drivers and select node.js here is scroll down and this is your connection string the only thing that you need to do to use this connection string is putting the password that you copied at the time of creating your database user here i cannot copy this because the other one will be removed from my clipboard what i can do is copying the password inside my code copy the connection string here cut this password and put it on the password section of the connection string Cut the connection string and now is the time for going to the render.com website. As you can see, we have a mongoose connection error here because we didn't set the environment variables. For setting the environment variables, you can go to the environment tab here. Here I want to add my environment variables directly. The first one was mongo uri. That was the connection string that we copied and fixed. Click on add environment variable again. Go over your .env file, come back, paste it here, and write some random text as your JWT secret and save it. Now, if we go to the events, we are going to see another deploy has been started. We can wait and see the result. Here, everything is okay, but we only have one problem. It's a very simple problem, and it is that we are using port 5000 on the server. Normally, it's not possible because the server should decide which port we need to use. It's not our local host it's a server and the server port is inside process.env.port that we didn't use inside our server.js let's use it come back to the project go to the server.js and here at the end after the port equal to we need to write process.env.port with all capital letters and use or or it means if the port was null or undefined or if we were on the local host while developing it should select 5000 but when we are on the server the render.com will provide this port number and it will be used for our expert.js app to listen on that port now once again let's go to the source control click on stage changes go to the terminal again right git commit dash dash amend again dash dash no dash edit because we want to add this to the previous commit press enter and write git push origin master dash dash force to push the changes with force to the github now let's come back to the render.com go to event and wait for another build okay here as you can see port changed and we have all the successful messages now we just need to go to the link of our website that is the name of our project on the render.com dot on render .com. and as you can see we have the project up and running you can open the foods add them to cart and do the rest of the jobs on the internet I know this video was a little bit long. I intentionally didn't remove the mistakes from my video so you could learn how to fix them. You've been watching Code with Nasir and I hope to see you next time.